With me right now is Dr. Maria Flesheru, who is the chair of the Endocrine Society Guidelines Committee, and Dr. Marie McDonald, who is on that committee and also is the Clinical Guidelines Committee Task Force Leader for App Development. Ladies, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for inviting us. So let's talk first about the guidelines themselves. Always expanding. There are updates and there are new guidelines. We're very excited. We're continually growing. We have 17 guidelines published since 2011, and that was a huge work as part of the committee and the Endocrine Society Task Force, and I wanted to thank all of them for their work. We have 14 new guidelines out of all this total. We have 13 guidelines in development now, and we are going to start three or four topics just this year. And I'm also uh, very happy to say that we have many co-sponsoring associations. We work with 23 organizations up to now for all our guidelines. And now the ability to access at least some of them via an app. Yes, that's right. So we have, uh, the, the app will be able to be downloaded on Friday um, and then beyond, of course. We have six guidelines currently on the app, soon to be populated with more, but that's our starting point. Uh, the app is really terrific. It's meant to be used at the point of care when you're with a patient potentially or in your office or with colleagues. So there are, um, first of all, you can, you can access the entire guideline from the app. Uh, you can also use the interactive tools developed within the guidelines. So you've got calculators on there, risk scores, yeah. and everything they can use at the bedside. It's great, you know, so for for providers, for example, who don't practice in an area specifically, they could access risk scores that they don't typically either have in their head or use. One example would be diagnosis of avert diabetes in pregnancy or gestational diabetes in pregnancy, which, you know, the thresholds of, a, of the, um, the 75 gram glucose tolerance tests are different uh, for diagnosis of gestational diabetes. Uh, so those little numbers that we sometimes it's hard to access all the time for all of us. They're there. Uh, BMI calculation um, and in the, the pharmacological management of obesity, which drugs cause weight gain and weight loss and by what to what degree, that's right there in an interactive uh, risk tool. score and tool. Yes. Right, all at your fingertips. And yeah. then you can also customize it. You can, so you can use a favorites um, tool to basically compile what you what you usually go to you know once you've found a tool that you've used a few times you can then access your favorite list uh, you can also make notes so you can and you can access the notes in a list so if you reminded your, you wanted to remember to tell a certain patient about this you could actually access the list later or if you um, you had questions about the guideline uh, for your own practice or you wanted to get back to other colleagues you could make that list for yourself and access it later. True labor of love putting that together. That's <laughs> terrific. Now, in addition to the guidelines that are on the app, there are three new ones for this year. Yes, we're very excited about the app, but we're also going to present three guidelines live. We're going to talk about the diabetes technology on Friday morning. We're going to talk about hypopituitary replacement in adults on Saturday morning. And we're going to talk about pediatric obesity on Sunday morning. And in addition to that, because one hour is never enough to talk about the guideline, uh, the members of the Endocrine Society that are here at this meeting, they will have the option of meeting with the task force members at the Endocrine Society booth each day with their respective task force members between 1, 1 to 2, to 15, or even more if they have more questions. And hopefully we, we can address uh, and discuss all these interesting uh, excitements. All of that education is so critical. Thank you, doctor, so much for all your work. Thank You're you. Welcome.